Hello, and welcome to Riley Reacts, the series where I, Brittany Raymond, the actor and dancer who played Riley from The Next Step, react to my time on that show. <laughs> In this last week's video, uh, Brennan and I reacted to um, a Daniel and Wes duet. We did season one on my channel and season five on Brennan's channel. So you should check those two out if you haven't. Uh, I had no idea the, St the Stephanie scene from last episode, from episode 17, was cut out of the episode for CBBC. For anyone who was in the UK who watched that episode, the whole thing where Stephanie was like going in for the audition and then like was embarrassed by that because the guy like made fun of her for doing the Shakespeare voice. Apparently that entire scene was cut and some people were asking why that is. I don't really know the full answer to that question, but I will say that because it's a children's network, they probably made the decision to like remove that scene for that reason. If you haven't ha seen that scene, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch last week's episode. I'll link that here. I'm posting on Brit's vlogs again. I know I've talked about this in almost every video and I haven't posted in a while, but I finally have a video ready to post. Um, and it's up now on Brit's vlogs. I, me and Ben went to the Honda Indy a couple weeks ago. And um, yeah, so that was a, a blast. If you're interested in seeing what that experience was like, you can go check out Brit's vlogs. If you want uh, to book me for a cameo, I'm on cameo. It is in the description below. All right, previously on the next step, James has got to get his math grades up, otherwise he'll be kicked out of the studio. Yikes. An incentive for him that Riley puts forward is get a 70% on your next math exam and I'll go on a date with you. However, we're also reminded that Beth is still into James. Potential threat. We all know where this is going, of course, but that's where we're at in the story right now. Giselle hates being in B Troop because caveman dancing is a thing there. Weird. And she just wants to, like, work hard and, like, she just doesn't like that they just like don't care. Emily and Eldon have a little kissing moment in Studio B, but only after Emily sort of feels disheartened by the fact that Michelle is dance captain and she doesn't really feel included. Like Emily doesn't feel included in the team anymore. She doesn't feel like anyone respects her anymore. So she decides to boot it and leave. And that's where we left off the story. Let's continue in Studio A after Riley ran in. Guys. Oh, there it is again. Now I'm going off on a rant about my run because the run was so weird and I don't know why. And I think it's because I was still very much like a dancer. There's a difference between a dancer running and an, uh, like just a person running. And I think that I was just like dancing running in. So it, there was like a certain degree of like a floatiness that happened. So it felt sort of performative rather than genuine and like honest. It was contrived. I overheard my parents talking to Emily and she was saying that they're planning on moving to Elite. They keep saying how they want to do stuff for the troop, but then they just go and leave. I mean, come on. They're always about them. It's so weird because this show, the way it's shot, there's no structure to it. There's not as much of a structure as there is now. So I feel like I'm having to like, I don't know, there's more to like watch. There's more to experience, I guess. It's like new. I don't know what to expect as much. I think if we talk to them or something, they'll want to come back. No, bad idea. If Emily sets her mind on something, nothing is going to change that. They're both going to leave. I, I don't want to say oh, that, but I no, no, we're going that's out of the question. No way. The amount of stuff we sacrifice we're for this, going. Going. I don't care. If I oh wow, I'm so into this scene. Like as in Riley, I'm watching, I'm watching myself, and I'm like, so heated about it. It's a good choice to be like that. I think. I mean, I'm a bit combative, but this is a perfect example of a scene where we were sort of told to improvise and like given jet very loose dialogue so like mostly what we were given is like what our point of view is and what's important to us so like you want to go to regionals you don't really want to go to regionals there was sort of like a divide that would generally happen and we were given these kinds of like stances i guess that we had to take and then we would improvise the line so like michelle is told or victoria was told okay so you're at some point in this conversation you're just gonna slip it in that i know that we've worked really hard to go to regionals and i really want to go but wait are you suggesting that we not go to regionals and then i jumped in <laughs> and was like so aggressive like no we're going like what are you doing blah 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 like so aggressive um problematic like, we should still have hope. They haven't even Can, auditioned so yet. So we're just supposed to wait for them to get into a league, go to regionals, and then beat us? Like, we have to do something now. Ooh, Riley's spicy. <laughs> um, yeah, really spicy. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like what my perspective was in this and it's like there's this like pressure or this weight on like regionals is the most important thing and everything else kind of falls underneath that. It's almost like we're, we have to go to regionals 
and I'm really fighting for that. I kind of like it because it's interesting, like there's something compelling about it, but it's a bit like, ee, because because she's being so aggressive, isn't as as open to considering the the sort of the team dynamic and trying to incorporate everyone's ideas in it. Like Riley is very much like, we're going, we have to go, we have to do this thing. I would imagine it's really hard for Riley because she's sort of like the pain of losing her sister and the pain of losing that connection is still fresh there. James isn't there anymore. And he's kind of was sort of like her confidant in many ways. And I think that she maybe doesn't feel as like safe and protected in this team maybe. So that's why she's getting combative. Like I'm trying to figure out why. I don't think I realized it back then, but like, it's very aggressive. People up from Beach Troop. There's Giselle, there's oh, yeah. Beth, there's Charlie, there's Charlie. 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 and Sarah. Exactly. Sarah. I'm starting to see the challenge that is brought forward when we were not given like clear lines or clear dialogue and it's sort of like improvised and it's just like everyone kind of talks over each other and like one person jumps in to be heard and then another person jumps in and then another person but it like becomes very like there's so much going on and you don't have a clear enough understanding. There's not like a clear through line as much. It's sort of like, okay, so everyone sort of talks over each other. Although I do think that it's kind of good because it does create this sense of urgency and this sense of like chaos that is now happening. I am so excited to re-audition for A Troop. I just, please let me make it. I'm the only one in B Troop that's ever been in A Troop before, so. I think I have a pretty good chance. Also, I was always baffled by the fact that Giselle doesn't make it into A Troop in the first place because Jordan had literally just won So You Think You Can Dance Canada. I kind of always thought that Riley should have been in B Troop and that Giselle should have been in A Troop because Riley, like I, in my opinion, like my ability, my dance ability wasn't at that level. Like what Jordan can do fit A Troop more than what Riley did at least in my opinion. So I kind of always thought that it was probably just because I was Emily's sister that gets me in like that. I think maybe that was part of the story. I don't remember. I like to dance because I find it kind of makes people smile. And um, I feel as if smiling kind of brightens the world a little bit. Charlie. Isn't that Charlie the Charlie that with Riley in season two? They date in season two, don't they? Sorry, I'm spoiling it. Obviously, okay. I'm. There's no spoilers here. This is show's been out. I keep saying this. Charlie's so sweet. Oh, I like Charlie. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow. And I, it's embarrassing, but uh, I really miss James and kind of want to see him. So I'd love to be in age room. <sighs> but yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot they made her say that. I forgot. I forgot they made her say that. What is cosecant? Um, the inverse of cosine. Yes. Does sine to the power of four times theta minus cos to the power of four times theta equal two sine squared theta minus one? Yes. No. No. Cute. That was good. I don't know if I can learn all the material in time, and I'm, I'm kind of stressed out about learning the dance. I got to get to know it a little better, I think. Well, I mean, I guess I could come teach you. Like, I say it like, oh, I guess I could, you know, teach you the dance, like, whatever. And there's a part of me that actually kind of wants to because I want to get closer to him. Like, that's the kind of vibe I was reading. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm down for that. And the fact that Riley is willing to break the rules for James. It's technically not at the studio. Like, I could come and, like, teach you moves so that you're not, like, left behind. It also shows that she believes in him and she's like, whatever. And I mean, as long as your mom doesn't see you dancing, it doesn't matter if other people see you dancing. Oh, that's so sweet. And then also the fact that Jenny's there to be like, it doesn't matter if other people see you dancing. She's just, like, kind of third wheeling a little bit. That's cute. Do you understand who we are? Yes, that's why we came here. Yeah, yeah. And why? <laughs> we want to be with the best studio. And your studio is? The Next Step. I don't think I've heard of The Next Step. Isn't it Pretty Wreck? No. Dry. I remember Dry was like the thing that we would all say. In every episode, I feel like one of us says Dry at least once. It was sort of like the slang during that time. Nice sweater, by the way. It's really red. Is that supposed to be a... A diss? Is this a... I don't understand. <laughs> 
Oh, I remember this right now. scene. My teacher just scheduled a math three test for tomorrow. So? You know this stuff, James. You've been studying for weeks. I appreciate the the acting was natural in that, which was good. However, just pushing and just being very like um, forceful. I feel like that's something that I'm noticing is a pattern of mine in season one is I just like to try to accomplish my goal. I just like try to barrel down my fists and just like force it and be like, no, this, this is my perspective. This is my perspective. And there's no like changing or adjusting how I'm approaching trying to convince James that he's actually really good at math. Just relax, okay? I'm telling you, I don't know any of it. I feel like there's a softer way to do this. Like, I wish I was a bit more soft. Here. Oh my gosh, you bring cue cards? Yes. Can you just tell me the angle? I don't know, 92? <laughs> I have no idea. This is a right angle, right? Yeah. Right angle triangle means... 90 degrees. Exactly. So how many degrees are left over to make the other two? 45 degrees. Exactly, you just figured it out. There's so much about this that I forgot existed. Like, I love this moment where Riley is like there to sort of like help him through it and she sees that he's in distress and so she wants to like be there to support him. I do think James will pass his exam. I mean, he just has to believe in himself. I came to Elite to figure out what's going on with me and Emily. Wow, there's so many different locations happening. We did that like so much more often in this season than we did in previous ones or later seasons. I guess because of like moving the sets and everything became like too time consuming. I would assume that's what it is. But an interesting thing about all of these different locations is a lot of them are just different sections of the building that we were filming in because we were filming in an old abandoned school. So anytime we're like at the school with James, like it's still at the same spot that we filmed all the studio stuff because they built out the studio and like the cubby section in Miss Kate's office. Like all of that was built in the gymnasium of an old abandoned school, at least in the first seasons. It doesn't matter where I dance, we're, we're still gonna be together. Okay. Oh, they're together? They're like, they're together. Oh, okay. I Oh, maybe she means just like in spirit or- Being official with Alden. Ah! Okay, so yeah, you are Emily's boyfriend. Okay, so that was like the are we actually together thing. Oh, that's cute. And she kind of assumed that they already were. I love that. Oh, how simple that is. Oh, there you are. Amanda and Lucien have made up their mind. We need to go. I've been looking everywhere for you. Okay, all right, wish me luck. Okay. You know all this stuff. I told you this. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He just got every single question right that I asked him. I'm not a hugger, normally. I don't really like, I'm not, like I like the fist bump usually. Depends on the person, if I'm really close with that person and it feels like I'm open to it. Like I feel like you can kind of tell when someone wants to hug or not. And I was very much just like, like I didn't know how to, what to do after that, which is kind of sweet actually. Ready? Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm dancing. I just find it so funny how, how serious I am about it. Like, <laughs> I don't like watching myself. Um, a way to have improved this scene, I think, is to just acknowledge that this is scary, but do it anyways. And so allow room for me to show that rather than it being so like, like I'm just so like, I just take myself so seriously. <laughs> I think maybe at this time in my life, I didn't really know how to laugh at myself yet. And I, I actually think that that's really important and it alleviates some of the tension and some of the sort of like pressure that I would put on myself. And that was something I didn't know how to do yet. And so some, when I'm trying to be playful, it's like not playful. <laughs> Yo, there's nothing to see, hit the road. The irony of this scene is that I feel like Trevor would definitely be the person to like dance in the street even if people are looking because he just enjoys that like I just remember him at the time it, he had like his prom coming up and his girlfriend at the time he asked her to prom by doing a full dance routine in the cafeteria and then like asking her to prom like the super like you know performative promposal whereas I was like not that I was like not really you know big into the extravagant like big stuff like I was much more like low-key so the fact that Riley is the person that sort of like is embarrassing James by dancing in public I just find that ironic
like the editing choice to like combine these two scenes, these two like audition moments, these like turning point moments for these dancers. <laughs> Loved a good. Ow. Hi, Sobble. He's nibbling my legs. I think he need, wants me to feed him. Um, she loves a good, like, point to the camera. I've been working so hard, you wouldn't even believe me. I've been in the studio every single night. I just really, really hope I make it this time. Oh, I hope you make it too. I want Giselle to make it. <laughs> made a decision of the two individuals that will move up from B Troop into A for regionals. And we just wanted to let you guys know first before giving them the news. The two individuals that will be moving up from B. Are there still auditions for A Troop? Well, no, they're finished. I thought I was going to get in to Elite, so I didn't really think of anything else. Yeah, that sucks, because like then you feel like the loss of letting go of that studio spot, of your spot at the studio that you called home, that you grew up in, but you also were banking on the enemy of, kind of. So then it becomes like, oh, that's that disheartening. Do you think I could audition? Oh, so we don't know if Giselle got in or not. And obviously she's gonna get in, like we know that. But we also have Stephanie wanting to come back. And she's like, and she, she's at least like being reasonable about it. She's like, please, can I audition again? Well, I don't know what's gonna happen there, but a um, lot of drama. There was so much that happened in this episode. There's like so many different, like they had three different storylines going at one time, all interconnecting in some way. And it's all about trying to bring everyone back for regionals, like banking on James being there. I think this might be the time where they decide that they're gonna keep people on as alternates. A couple more things. Be sure to check out Brit's vlog. I have a new vlog up there. Ben and I went to the Honda Indy a couple weeks ago, which was really fun. And we ended up getting pit, not pit access, but we ended up getting suite access right above the pits, which was really cool. So we got to see a lot of the action that was happening. Also, what's gonna be going up there soon is a trip to Wonderland that I went on with a few friends recently. So if you are interested in that, you'll wanna subscribe to Brit's Vlogs. If you want a personalized video from me, uh, check out the link down below for Cameo. I'm on Cameo, so yeah, sorry, Sobble keeps trying to bite my legs. <laughs> That's all. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Okay, bye.